I've got two more. I, I know I, I said we'd stop, but I got two more that I have to share because God sent them again. And uh, one night, uh, this was just uh, the weekend of the track opening, okay? I got a call from uh, Monticello, New York, and it was the owner of the track up in uh, Donald's Mountain. And uh, he said, uh, I need you to do a mission for me. Come on down here uh, right away. So I drove down to uh, Monticello to Donald's Mountain. And he owned a mountain, uh, the whole mountain, named after his son Donald. And he had these uh, special cattle that were all over grazing. And I remember when I got there, he said, you see all those cattle out there? There's not one of those that's less than $100,000. He said, those are special, uh, special cattle we had brought in from overseas. And uh, he's bragging about all the different things. Now, I am at liberty to talk about all this because uh, about 80% of all these people have passed away. And uh, so they're not even, the companies aren't even in business anymore. So uh, I'm at liberty to share this stuff. Anyhow, uh, he said, I've got a special package i got to have you deliver. And he brings this envelope out and he said, uh, you're the only guy in all of my employment that I would trust with this. Now here I'm driving an old beat up Chrysler, my Chrysler. And, uh, you know, it looks like it's been, you know, had its best days. And he said, I want you to take this envelope. I want you to deliver it and to the track immediately. And I will radio ahead and tell him when you're going to get there and all that. And you are to hand this to the Brinks driver. He said, now this is equal to cash. It's a million dollars. There's no one I would trust in the whole company with a million dollars cash. He said, if you ever tried to take it, we would find you. However, uh, I don't even want to take that chance here. And to me, that was a great testimony. He said, I know what you stand for. I know what you believe. So therefore, I don't have a problem in trusting you. And he handed that to me. All right, now, let me go one more. And this one here is the end of it. I promise this time. Uh, at the end of the whole track, now one thing that the uh, underworld and all that is known for is that as long as they need you, uh, they will pay. The payments will come in regular. But once they see that everything is uh, flowing good and they don't need you anymore, don't try to collect the last payment. And over the years I learned because I worked with a lot with different restaurant owners that were connected with that way. and uh, the, one thing that we learned was that uh, collect your money a little heavy all the way up. So at the end when they say, I'm sorry, we don't have any more money or whatever, uh, you can actually end up writing it off because you're not going to push these guys. So anyhow, at the end of the stra I thing, I had bought all of the equipment, all of the switch gear and everything from this little uh, place called Tioga Electric. Just a beautiful, beautiful family business. And it was the biggest sale by far they ever had. I brought $50,000 worth of lights in one purchase. I bought like uh, 60, 70,000 in switch gear. Uh, it was major to them. Well, uh, I heard them talking in the office and uh, they, uh, they were talking very disparagingly about paying. And then the owner of Tioga uh, Electric called me and said, they owe us $50,000 and they're not gonna pay us. This will put us completely out of business. I said, oh boy. So I gave him a plan and I said, have your trucks all ready at midnight. And I talked to the guards and everything and I said, don't you worry, everything is all right, you can have the time off and I got the guys going to work late and all that. And they did. And uh, uh, they, I said, all the stuff in the warehouse, I want you to bring your trucks over, load your trucks up, empty our warehouse out and turn around and put it all in a separate place mark Tioga Downs, okay? Don't touch it other than just lay it out. And uh, they did that. Everything went smooth as clockwork. And then in the morning, I get a call from the man that used to work for me that was working now for the track full time, the only one. And uh, he said, man, we have been robbed. I said, really, what happened? And I could tell by my voice, he said, you know something about this, don't you? And I said, ah, don't worry about it. And uh, I know where the stuff is. Well, make a long story short, uh, they did get their check for $50,000, and the money uh, and all the stuff was returned, and it went smooth. But it wouldn't have went smooth 
if I had just let that thing slide and says, oh, forget it. But you can't do that. You can't do that to people. And even if it's connected with the worst people in the face of the earth, all right, God has a way of taking the money right out of no matter what. Pharaoh, wherever it is, it don't matter. God has a way of bringing this thing around. So even in these instances of the worst case where it could be your life, all right, by pulling something like this with the mob and with that, you still can't, you can't do it. You've got to go and stick with what the kingdom wants. What would the king do? The king would treat everyone right. The king would do the way Father wants it done. And so these people were treated right. They were blessed. They were able to get their money, and everything went smooth. That, that's just the area of the track, and there's a lot more. But uh, I didn't even know there was so many miracles. They just keep popping in my mind. But uh, God is so good. I'm telling you, trust him, trust him, trust him all the time. Trust him. He'll bring you through, my friend.